Alright, so we got Divine Beast Dancing Lion Lore and Story Explained. Let's go to the video. The Divine Divine Shout out to Dan Allen Gaming. located at the theater of the Divine Beast in Bellarat, the tower settlement. Believed to be an artificial representation of a Divine Beast, this lion is controlled by two sculpted keepers. They move in tandem, creating the illusion of the Divine Beast embodying its spirit rather than just imitating it. Whoa, wait, I didn't even know that. Dancing Lion states... When the Impaler's army assailed the tower, the ritual of the Wait. Lion Dance was turned toward martial ends. Its divinity, its fury, its light-footed I promise I didn't even know that. Wait a minute, what? It's a testament to Mesmer's brutal crusade, where the Lion Dance was repurposed for combat. Most divine beasts were impaled on Mesmer's spears, then consumed by his flames. Those who witnessed the deed likened it to a funeral pyre for the tower itself. Even amid the devastation, the sculpted keepers and their lion dance stand strong as symbols of resilience and cultural. Hey, that lion's teeth is perfect, though. Who's this guy's dentist? Bro, I didn't even know. The lion dance, a traditional New Year's charm, originated from China in the 7th century alongside Gagaku. Was historically performed at the outset of plays to drive away evil influences. Really? I didn't in know Japanese that. In Japanese culture, the lion is revered as a sacred creature believed to ward off evil and disease. It's also said the more experienced dancer would handle the hind of the lion, showcasing true mastery. Achieving this level of synchronization between the lion's body and head requires years of dedicated practice. Wait, that's what the lion looks like without the without the thing? Wear black masks to hide their faces, allowing them to channel the divine beast essence. This tradition mirrors ancient mediums who cover their heads to facilitate spiritual possession. It's also possible that the horns they once had are now proudly displayed on the divine beast. Oh no, so I get this evil beast out of here. There's no way. Helm states helm featuring a crown of sturdy tangled horns, allowing the wearer to invoke divinity. Look like something out of a nightmare, bro. Keepers of the tower. The ancestral followers believe the horns of divine beasts continually regenerate throughout their lives, representing their lasting presence. And over time, these creatures are believed to ascend into ancestral spirits. No, I hope not. Provide sacredness and invoke divinity, often intertwined with spirals. In a near limb, the spiral tower has a statue that shows two figures wrapped in a spiral horn. The spiral brings together everything it touches, invoking the divine. This idea is similar to how the gateway of divinity works in the creation of gods. The divine beast warrior armor states, armor of feated horned warriors chosen to become divine beast warriors, adorned with a lion's pelt. Among the divine beast warriors, only those who truly excel at divine invocation become sculpted keepers and are granted the honor of the lion dance. Wait, that's the armor that we gotta use? Beast warriors, those skilled enough, those worthy enough. Bro, look at that menace. In channeling the divine power and would be elevated to the status. Look at this the scary gold. creature. Before taking on the dancing lion, you can visit Horn Saint Grand Am in the storeroom of Belurat. And she says, Our lands were by thy kind set aflame. Our tower by thy kind veiled in shadow. Babes, what did you just say? Robbing us of all, spoiling all. Have ye not basked in these deeds long enough? Listen, progeny of the wanton trumpet. For thy sins thou shalt have thy recompense. What? Secret beast shall unleash its ire. Okay, I know what that means. I know what that means. It's been changed forever since Mesmer's crusade. Suggesting that the divine beasts were integral to the tower's oh, own. Oh, drinking that Kool Aid. Its defense. The divine beast head states ritual headwear in the form of the divine beast head used to perform the lion dance, worn by the very finest of sculpted keepers. Alas, oh my, he came out of nowhere. Oh my God, get him. Kill him. Kill that menace. The effectiveness of these prayers is diminished due to Mesmer's crusade and the massacre of the divine beast disrupting the one strong connection uh-oh bro when i first seen this boss i can't lie to you bro that was like the most this is like the most disgusting to the tower festival theater the divine beast is awoken uh-oh bro i knew he was a nuisance when he closed his mouth 
He got my type of he got my type of fingers. <laughs> She talking about some rise and then think, bro, 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 I can't lie to you, bro. If I ever see this, I can't lie to you. All you're going to see is my booty and elbows. I'm out of there, bro. Bro, 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 I'm out of there. If I see this thing rise up. This thing got an animatronic head, bro. That's my type of feet right there. Like, we're literally twins in feet. When he closed his mouth like that. Yeah, I can't. Hey, 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 I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I'm jumping over the wall. I promise you, bro. My adrenaline is going to spike through my body, bro. I'm jumping over the wall, bro, if I ever see this. I didn't even know that there was two people inside that thing. Battle against the Divine Beast dancing lion is a spectacle to behold. This powerful boss seamlessly transitions between three distinct powers, ice, lightning, and storm. Each altering the battle with its own unique challenges. Uh oh, oh, drink the Kool Aid. Your health is low. Drink the Kool Aid. Your health is low. Drink the Kool Aid, bro. If your health is halfway, you need to drink the Kool Aid now. Drink the Kool Aid. Oh, never mind. You don't need it. Yeah, drink the Kool Aid. Standout attacks a divine beast tornado. Oh my God, drink the Kool Aid. Drink it. Drink it. There it is. tornado to engulf its enemies. This attack. I forgot about that. Direct damage, but creates chaotic conditions on the battlefield. The frost stomp channels the lion's icy rage. With a mighty stomp, it unleashes a freezing blast that races across the ground, freezing and slowing down anyone in its path. The this man's a nuisance. The skies above to deal tremendous damage with powerful lightning bolt attacks. Bro, think he's right. Drink the Kool Aid. Drink the Kool Aid now. You're. Yo, thank you. Yeah, drink the Kool Aid. You are an adapt. But this thing got ice, thunder, and, and all types of like, bro. What are you? Mufasa? Move out the way, move out the way. Yeah, get drink the Kool-Aid! Oh my god, your house. Uh. Oh, okay, they both died, so. The they both died. Dancing lion is no more. GG's, he's dead. Fortunately for the Tarnish, this isn't the only dancing lion in the land of shadow. What? Another can be found in the ancient ruins, which not only wields ice, lightning, and storm, but wields death blight abilities. This lion also summons basilics, suggesting the sculpted keepers controlling this beast Wait, what? are even more experienced than the This lions. man's a bro, bro. If you speak to Horn Saint Grandam after defeating the dancing lion in Billurat, wearing the beast's helm, she will say, Oh, such a joy to smell the scent again. To smell the scent. A sculpted keeper stand for me. Oh, as I felt the sick. Her anxiety still lingers as Mesmer remains at large. Oh, wow. There's still hope in the Grand Dam's eyes. The Tarnish could bring an end to Mesmer and restore balance to her world. Do she and her people deserve this reckoning? Uh... In this world, innocence is a rarity. Well, if they're innocent, then no, they don't deserve it. But, uh, bro, looking at that town, yeah, that town's done for. That town is definitely done for, man. Shout out to Dan Allen and Gaming for these, bro, for these lore videos. Like I told you guys before, bro, I love these story explained Elden Ring lore videos. Um, bro, what was actually a big surprise to me was I didn't know that the dancing lion uh, had two people in it, because um, obviously they had like a like a cape around it. So I'm thinking like you know, um, I don't know why, but I, I I never like even thought. I thought it was like all connected. I did not think that. There was like a guy at the back of it. I mean, well, if you look at it this way, um, like I, after you know Dan explained everything, then I can see why now. But at before, bro, I was just too focused on this face right here, man, because this is a face only a mother can love, bro. This face right here, bro, I, bro, I promise you, bro. If I was ever dropped in like a in like a cage with this thing right here, bro, I, listen, I can't lie to you, bro. I'm just, it's either I'm doing two things, bro. I'm praying, bro. Or, uh, or number two, I can't lie to you, bro. I might have to like try to jump over the cage, bro. It's gonna get, to <laughs> it's gonna get to that level of just, bro, uh, of just fear. I think out of all the bosses, right? I think that just based off of like the looks, I think this is like probably like one of the like one of the like scariest, most frightening bosses out of the game. I can't lie to you, man. Comment down below. What is the scariest boss in the game? For you, what is the scariest boss in Elder Ring Shadow of the Air Tree for you? Make sure you guys like the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new. 
and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for out and.